Hello YouTube and welcome back to Chef Lethal Plays Path of Exile Slow Walkthrough Series Episode uh, 4? Episode 4, Season 2? We're here, we're doing it. Uh, no updates. I'm gonna get right into the video. I realized that at the end of last video we finished a quest and I didn't actually talk to Tarkley to get it. To kill a granddaddy crab. I did. We get a passive skill point, the best reward in the game. Uh, also, I keep, uh, if you're wondering, like this guy, Johan, I have his name tag here, I can see him, but if I hit Z, or Z, all of those labels go away. Unless I hover over it. But I like having it on, unless I'm taking a screenshot. Okay. Let's put our passive skill point to use. I will get it for the life. And we are good to go almost uh, at the next level. We are 65% of the way up to level 10. Making excellent progress. I still need better items. Uh, I need spectral throw. I think, uh, does Nessa sell skill gems? No, I thought she did. She does over here. Let me see, Spectral Throw, oh there it is. It costs one scroll of wisdom, throws a spectral copy of your melee weapon, it flies out and then returns to you in a spinning attack. It is a projectile. So according to the path of building, we will need to use this along with chance to bleed and volley support which fires two additional projectiles. For that, we will need a green, red, red, no, a green, green, red item linked, which we don't have, which Goodbye. stinks. Let's see if Tarkley has anything, any boots with the fur, perhaps? Anything with movement speed would be lovely. Lightning resistance is nice. Uh, nothing. Are there any green, green, red? Here's green, green, red, but it's not all linked. Green, red, red. It's usually my luck. Green, green, green. Yeah, it's... Uh, it ain't easy living out here like this. <laughs> all right, got to keep that in mind. I'm looking for green, green, red. Linked. If it got super duper serious, you can make a custom filter line item Farewell. for you know something to get a special alert or something when that drops i have done that before for previous builds and previous leagues uh but i'm not going to do it right now because it's not worth it absolutely not worth it we are going to continue on doing what we're doing we need to travel to prisoner's gate or do i want to explore king's march let's let's since i don't know what king's march is all about let's go to let's talk to johan and visit King's March. Let's see what this is all about. Why not? Let's learn together. This I literally have no idea. I have done zero research or information about what this is all about. Speak Hail. to speak to Johan in King's March. Okay, where is he? He's up here. Okay. He's in the building. Good, we have a stash here. Faustus, he's part of a different league mechanic called heist I'm glad we'll get into that later I hesitate to call you exile for we are all exiles in this foreign uh, land. come to me hand, for all financial and okay contracted captain Faustus of the fair Marilene for time okay let's talk to Faustus Hail, as these Calgarans say. Calgarans? uh currency exchange oh okay that this is um this currency exchange is kind of like a a player-to-player -player exchange marketplace for currency. We're not going to get into that right now. This will be a much, much later in the game situation. Um, I can invite him to my hideout. We'll do that later. You should familiarize yourself with our recruitment processes. Okay, we're going to need to familiar ourselves with the recruiting. So we're going to talk to Ralph. I'll get all the necessary paperwork shortly. Okay, we'll do that. That'll be great. Establish recruitment by interacting with the hammer icon in the tavern. 
There's a tavern? Is that up here? This place is huge. Who's Sonia? Yes. She's a farmer. Interesting. Where's Hammer Icon? Oh. <laughs> right there, you mean? Establish recruitment. Five gold. I have five gold. I've got 142 gold. Let's unlock that. Okay, establish mining. Is that what's next? Speak to Tuyan. Hold on, let me talk to Ralph. He gives me 30 coins. Okay. We've got a promising list of picks. Um, I can do worker. I'm guessing this gets us to establish mining. Let's hire him. Our team continues to grow. Okay. Establish mining on the west side of King's March by investing gold. Okay, let me go over here. I hired a miner. Although I hope he's over 18. Establish mining. Okay. Plus two to maximum miners. Assign a worker at the mining information board. You are unable to pay wages of the assigned workers. Add more gold to the town treasury at Johan to continue work. Okay. <laughs> this is a little complicated, at least to get started. The last thing we need to discuss is, is investment. investment. Okay. Oh boy. Um. Are you in exile? Without a home? King's March is waiting. King's March is open. Okay, there we go. Nice. Mining crimson ore. I'm assuming that assigned my guy. Talk to Tuyan about shipping. Hello. Hello. Name's Tujin. Okay. I'm the harbor master around here. Great harbor master. Establish shipping near Tujin by investing gold. I need more crimson ore. Haven't I been picking up crimson ore in all of my maps? Like in all those areas? All those crimson areas? Have I already spent it all? He's mining crimson ore. A 60 per hour. Oh, cool. Speak to Johan for reward. Speak to Johan. I need to speak to Johan twice. Okay. Hi, Johan. These beginnings may seem inauspicious. They do. We are now in a position to build mining infrastructure. Okay, some more gold. Okay. So I wonder Is there a way to tell how much crimson ore I have? Let's see. Mined ore. Here we go. Ore to mine. Forty six. Crimson ore. Okay. Good. I wonder, is that getting the ore from what I've found out in the world? That would be interesting. Uh, but that, we've done all that we can. So now we need to head back to tr uh, Prisoner's Gate and just wait for those guys to continue on. Okay. Interesting. It's like a, a, like a little city builder situation. I dig it. I used to be mega addicted to those uh, travel to prisoner's gate okay prisoner's gate is up here or up here somewhere we need to go to the ledge moral of the story we need to go to the ledge and not die right here holy moly hi guys let's 
So this will be great. This will get us some... Um, get rid of this totem. That totem was giving buffs to the enemies. And we don't want that. I don't want them to have Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Alright, I'm going to hit my Quicksilver and get up here quicker. Skip all these guys. And I'm going to hit my Quicksilver again. I will kill these guys because they're, they're magic. They're blue. And they give elevated experience points. Take that life blast. About to get a level up to... Uh, yep, I'm gonna just kind of zoom past these guys with my Quicksilver. Do it again. That totem is relatively difficult because there's so many monsters around here. But you can see I'm not bothering with killing any of these guys. You can stop. You can certainly stop and kill every single monster that you want. There's no, there's no downside to it. Especially if you're new, just getting as strong as possible. Also, um, when you enter a new area like I just did, there's this little clock up here. There's a grace period of a minute that you cannot be damaged as long as you don't move or use a skill. So even if I were swarmed with enemies right now, I would not be in any sort of trouble. But I'm not swarmed with monsters, and I'm also still not in trouble. So I'm going to avoid all these guys. These wheels can be a bit of a pain to deal with. We do have a, a bit of a grouping here, so I'll go ahead and say night-night to these guys. Uh, Orb of Transmutation, that's a nice find. Right, we're gonna find, I gotta remember I can dash. Dash on by to the other side. There's another essence monster. All right, so there I just dash down this ledge which is a nice benefit of using a dash skill, as you can... Like, I can't walk up here, but I can dash up here for some reason. Which is which is cool. That hurt a lot, actually. All right, Whispering Essence of Greed. We're going to clear up the riffraff here. And get this. Click, click, put my banner down, and click. Extra lightning damage and exposure, haste aura. Just gotta watch my health here. Okay, not a big deal. That wasn't too bad. We got a nice essence there. That is... Um, a life-giving one. The greed greed is, is really good to have. You typically want to have life on all of your items. If you can manage it. You want a life roll on all of your items so that you have the most life that you possibly can. Unlike me, I don't have a life. But in the game, I've got a fair bit of life. That was a self-deprecating joke regarding my social life. But hey, I'm married, so I don't need a bunch of friends, right? Right. This got real. Okay, we have another league mechanic over here. We're learning all sorts of things today. Just want, want to get rid of the goat man. Turn the right way, chef. There we go. And let's replenish some mana. And let me make sure there's... Yeah, all these guys have got to go. So right here we are ignited. We're on fire. It's important, you know, sometimes if you start you're seeing yourself just taking damage, you just look up there and go, oh, I have an ailment upon me. That's great. 
All right, this is the Legion Encounter. This is the Timeless Monolith, and Legion was a League mechanic that was introduced quite a while ago, and uh, it's it's pretty interesting. Some of these League mechanics are good to do; they can be very profitable in the end game, but they can also be build mm, build prohibitive. Uh, like if you don't have a, a a build that can manage what you need to do in that mechanic. Uh, it's not worth doing it. Um, it's still early game, so I just kind of want to show you what it is all about. Uh, it doesn't really matter if our if our guy is really any good at it at all. I'm gonna get this art of the gladiator. That's a that's a big that's a big bump for us. Right. So when I click on this, I'm gonna begin the the legion encounter. What's gonna happen is all around the area, there's gonna be what looks like statues of of mobs statues of monsters and you need to go around and you're gonna kill quote unquote kill these statues and they're gonna kind of despawn and then at the end of a timer all of the statues that you destroyed are going to come back as actual monsters I think they're actually soldiers whatever actual dudes and then you need to kill those and then then you'll get the loot uh, some monsters will have icons over their head that will indicate special loot types um, or if they drop a chest or something like that and I'll try to explain it as it happens it's the timer is pretty quick so like this is where having a, a good build with lots of AoE damage would be really useful uh, but we don't have access to that right now so we're gonna do what we can so I'm gonna click on it and then Boom, we have all these statues. So I'm going to look around and all these guys. These are all nothing guys. This guy's going to give me some currency if I can kill him in time. But he's also got extra lightning and shock damage. All right, so boom, he's gone. He's gone. These guys aren't really anything. None of these guys. This guy's going to have currency if I can get up there. I'm probably going to run out of time. Oh, I got him. Oh, this guy's going to have armor. I got him. And then... Timer's up, and then we just kill these guys, and he dropped a helmet. This guy's going to drop some currency for us. We get a, a music change. There's special Legion music that'll help you know, like, there's a Legion encounter, and and then the, the music will stop once you kill all of the Legion monsters, so in case you miss any, you don't see them, but the music's still going, you'll know that there's still Legion monsters out here somewhere. That's probably these guys up here. So now the music should be winding to a day crescendo. Okay, yep. Bump, bump, bump. Music over. That was our very first Legion encounter. That was decent. That wasn't too difficult. All right, we're gonna we're gonna open up this crimson ore. I wonder now if this will change the amount of crimson ore that's available to us in our King's March area. So before it was like 46 total. And so if I do this, let me put down a, a banner and start wrecking this down. I want to see if, uh, if this will make a difference for us. Learning a lot today, actually. Taking a lot of damage too. Not a fan of the damage. Alright, that's a plus nine crimson ore marked. Okay, that verbiage. <laughs> Sorry for the um corporate speak. But that verbiage kind of lends me to believe that uh now that nine will be added to the forty-six that I have marked and we'll open up the amount of uh, of crimson ore that's available. I'll, I'll kill, I'll try to kill this guy. He's a, a little mini boss. Oh shoot, I'm in trouble. Oh, I hit the wrong key, I hit F1 and my, my system stats were showing. Did I not kill him yet? I have not killed him. There he goes. Um, 
tougher monsters don't necessarily drop better items. I, I think in some cases they have a heavier weight. Like W E I G H T. A heavier weight to have better items or rarer items. But uh, it's not necessarily guaranteed that you'll get, you know, some god-level item or anything like that. Everything is so randomized. All right, I'm going to head back to town. Actually, we have a new icon here. We can travel to King's March. Let's go to King's March, and I want to I want to verify if what I thought is right. So if I talk now to Johan, manage town, or to mine 43. We've mined 12. So, yeah. Uh, 43 plus 12 is, what, 55? And we had 46, and we just gained 9. So that's exactly what happens. You have to go through the world to find those crimson ore nodes, defeat the monsters, and that opens up the available ore that you have available. Available, available. Say available one more time, chef. Anyway, that will, um, that will encourage the growth there so now I may be able to go down here and talk to two yin oh, and do this I have five crimson ore I have ten gold okay can ship to ribbon fell I don't know what that means can ship to uh, Nagakanamu Nagakanu not Gakanu. I don't know how to say that. That is interesting. Send a shipment. I don't Local. know how to select port. I don't have a crew. Favored resources. Oh, you can get aura column and corn. What the heck? Did I just do it? I love this job. Send a shipment. I did not send anything. I. Yeah, okay. Set shield requires minimum shipment value 100. Shipment. All I have is crimson ore. Interesting. Okay. I uh I don't what can I do for you? Quite know. Oh, here's the thing. Uh I uh, another chat thing is you can hit enter and then slash hideout and in not not while you're in the campaign like this won't work just in a you know just randomly in the campaign because you need a waypoint but I can do slash hideout because I'm in King's March and this will break oh I don't need to go to my hideout oh shoot welcome to my hideout everybody <laughs> I'm so used to going to my hideout that I'm uh, I totally forgot that we're not doing this right now Ignore everything that you see. There's nothing to see here. We're going back to town. Going back to town. Ha ha ha. Just kidding. Talk to Nessa. And what do we need? Life tap. Maim. Lesser. No. Melee splash. Added fire. Faster attacks. I'm going to check my path of building. And I don't think I need any of these really. Maim support. Life tap. here just just for the sake of things I'm gonna grab maim and I'm gonna come over here talk to Tarkley and see if so every time you level up their inventory rotates I think I've leveled up since I've been here maybe maybe not maybe not I maybe not okay no big deal go here to the stash and let's see let's get rid of these things I still really need what was it green green red I don't see that anywhere this helmet I am going to identify this helmet look at that 11 to fire resistance and 9 to lightning resistance we get the increased stun and block recovery and increased armor 55 armor this is quite quite literally a no-brainer this small life flask is unidentified. Well, let's check that out. Instant recovery for 24 life. That is garbage. These items can be re-rolled um, with the orbs of alteration. It's not worth it for a small life flask, so I'm not going to do it. 
Um, skinning knife. If that were rare, I might look at it, but the rest of this, I'm just going to go ahead and talk to Nessa and give this a sell really quickly. Okay. And that is all we have to do. All right. So I think that puts us at a pretty decent little stopping point, right? Yeah, I think so. So let me get to a good area for a screenshot. Let's go over here next to our friend. He's having he's having a bad day. All right, well, anyway, <laughs> that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching. All the links you need to know for the series are down in the description. Of course, uh, if you've enjoyed or found this episode useful or entertaining, please consider hitting that like button. It actually does help out quite a bit. Uh, and if you're feeling crazy, send me money. That's it. Okay. Uh, Chef Lethal signing out. I will see you next time.